Hey guys, welcome back to my videos. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kate. Kaibo, Kaibo. Um, this water bottle is typically not usually here, it's usually in the kitchen, but something is going on in that kitchen. And that is why we are moving, guys. I didn't even give you guys reasons why we are moving, but as you guys had seen the first time on the wall, it was kind of like falling apart and we tried to fix it, but then it's falling apart again. Also in the background, that's the washing machine, the washing clothes. <laughs> She's a bit silent now. Mm. Mm. This breakfast is so good. <laughs> it's actually in the afternoon though. Because <laughs> we woke up to do uh, quite a lot of things. What was I saying? Well, we are moving out. Yeah, basically the house is falling apart and I don't feel like it's safe anymore. That's just it. And I've also learned never to say never. I remember how we said, you know, I'll probably never move into an apartment. Well, here we are. Here we are. Yeah, but we're not moving out this month. We're moving out next month. I'm practicing makeup today. Uh, if you watched the previous previous vlog, you know I went for makeup classes, but I've not practiced until now. It's like been a month now and I've not practiced. So I'm going to do that as I try to create content for Instagram as well. Mm -hmm. That's basically the day today. Guys, this is this setup. I'm using this desk that's usually normally there. But I need some good lighting. My brushes are here. Everything that I need. And here's the camera and the big window. <laughs> but now we just want to get the framing right. I feel like it's too wide. The eyebrows are already killing me. <laughs> I feel like I need to tweeze some. I'm very tweezing is painful. But I'll go get them done because it... I should not be spending so much time on them eyebrows. Is there anyone who makes me feel like you do? Oh no, you're the only one. Is there anyone who gives me love like you do? Oh no, you're the only one. I adore you, love you, need you, baby. I'm so guys. We are done with the look. I'm giving this a look, this look 5 out of 10. I have struggled, especially with those lashes. I thought those lashes was gonna be amazing, but in a cast GRG lashes. And I know there's so many things I need to work on, but I'm happy I was able to practice Kidogo. So I'll say something I'm gonna be doing, just practicing, practicing until I get it right. Until I get it right. Yeah, so this is today's look. I should actually start prepping supper right now. Ready quite early. It's six that <laughs> but I feel like if we get hungry later on, we'll probably just have like yogurt because we have yogurt and different snacks. So I'm waiting for Hilary to give us a review. Let's go looks so good. Looks good. I will need you to speak up. Once Have you week. shown them? How I've good. shown how I've made it. Oh my god, this looks so good. Tell me what you're trying to Try to get everything. Try. It's a lot of it. I don't want to ruin it. Ah, but it's so good. It's so good. I don't get it. I didn't get it, but now I get it. I get it. Now I get it. Basically, rice balls is a way to like eat all the veggies that are remaining. You can put any protein. You can even put beans if you want. Now for the pork, I used hoisin. If you've not bought hoisin, don't have hoisin in your house and you like pork. I don't know what you're doing. Just get hoisin, boil some pork, put it in there. It will do a lot of work. And also the soybean paste that you can. I think you can also get it. 
on Carrefour. Or you can just go to the, what is it called, the Chinese supermarket and ask for soy bean paste. It adds a lot of flavor. Yeah, so that, that's, that's what we're eating today, guys. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. I'm ready to cook. Okay, I'm cooking the tomatoes. Oh, but we have to go this other side to deliver. Yes, we have to come on this side to deliver. So the one who's on this side, the chopping boards are also moving. So we have to cook the tomatoes. Okay, the tomatoes are cooked, the pasta is boiled. I almost forgot to show you guys how the balm works, but I've just put it on my skin. So you just rub it and the makeup just comes off so easy and beautifully. Although after I used it another time, I think our Nimi would be better. What is it called? A cleansing oil instead of the balm. But I don't know if you can see guys. My makeup is literally melting off. Literally. This is where the double cleansing comes in. You should be double cleansing, even if you're not doing makeup. So you start with an oil-based cleanser. You use a water-based cleanser so that it can remove the oil. But this is so funny. Yeah, so you either get a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil, although I recommend a cleansing balm. Because this one is fragrant. I know most people don't like fragrant things. Yeah, so I did have some wet wipes remaining. So I'm actually now going to wipe off. Like you can see I've already wiped off here, just with the, the cleansing oil on. So I'm not going to be rubbing, I'm just wiping. Wiping the makeup off. So now I've actually been using a water-based cleanser, the Lavish Pose one. So now that will remove the oil and any other residue that has been left. And we are cleansing for more than 60 seconds. You're not cleansing for at least 60 seconds. I'll just start a now. <laughs> Guys, we've just filmed a, an episode of Perspective. Please subscribe if you haven't. We're available on YouTube and you can listen to us on any podcast platform from Spotify and Apple. To go, uh, honestly, we're everywhere. Just look for us. And yeah. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, 16th January. I feel like the days are going 
so so fast and it's a bit crazy and the internet has been a crazy place uh, there's another killing of a woman and it's scary I remember in the last vlog i asked and no one has actually even okay a couple of people have responded you know i was asking why do men hate women this much and how why are we justifying murder when it comes to women we always justify everything and blame the victim and it's quite sad it really is quite sad there's no reason to kill anyone there's no reason to kill women doesn't make sense at all oh yeah i've just had an encounter on my dms because i had retreated a tweet about the way sex doesn't warrant to be murdered actually let me just read the tweet that i posted the tweet says an agreement to have sex is never an endorsement to be murdered stop murdering women and using sex as an excuse stop telling women to be safe when all our lives will live by being hyper vigilant this narrative needs to end hold men accountable and i totally agree i totally agree and then somebody dm'd me and i was i've been so triggered because i was like how can a woman think this way she says ati no man will be giving you money for free and if you do get that then i honestly don't know most of these men are giving you money with the hope that you can satisfy them sexually and when you fail to do that they will do something detrimental to you so we all need to hold women accountable let women block let women look for their money free money is dangerous and let's not be naive after all that this generation has been done for in terms of women empowerment we can do better i i i read that message twice because it's somebody who i've talked to a lot in my dms and i was just like how can she think this way and i'm like if a man wants sexual favors in exchange like you in exchange of money that's why we have prostitution for that <laughs> It's not like this men come to you and they you know they freely tell you at oh I'm I'm spending this money so that you can give me sex they don't do that they don't and if they wanted to do that they actually go to a prostitute so like with this logic that means we should actually never interact with men how many times have men met women for dates and as we think you know of course they want to get to know you and how would you even decipher between somebody who wants to get to know you and somebody who wants to sleep with you if they don't even communicate that how how do you how do you know that and even about the married men thing i'm like most married men don't come to you telling you by the way you know i'm married but i still want you most of the time they don't do that they act very single and that also even if that was a reason that still doesn't justify murder it doesn't justify murder at all i really hate pick me shall people who think like that and i'm just like even with the cases that have happened now none of it has been We've not been told that it's because of prostitution. We've not been told that this woman refused to give this man I don't know what, which she's also allowed not to give if she does not want to. That's how consent works. So just because this man did not get his money's worth, <laughs> he can kill. Let me tell you, uh-uh, the internet is a scary, scary place. I know I'm rambling. I can keep talking about this over and over, but it's just really upsetting. And on Instagram, I asked. Like the women who follow me to have this conversation with them, and and if you're a man watching this, I would like to know what are your thoughts on women. Why do you think men hate women? Why do you think men justify these actions? As a woman, I'd also like you to speak to the men around you, your brother, your fathers, your boyfriends, your friends. Just ask them what is their view because you never know. You never know. Of course, you know every time we say. men all men people are like no you cannot say that but the only way we can decipher is in such ways you know because we've had so many cases of women being killed by people who are close to them as well anyway then you were not were not sana anyway <laughs> so i don't have water in my house so i'm going to mom's house to shower get ready i was invited for a brunch at vanguard i think there's a festival launching in march so they're giving us like all the details but i'm not sure But I just need some branch up and guard. Yeah, so let's go. It's more than a festival, and the reason why we're saying that is because we're curating experiences. 
around the event. So on the 30th and 31st of March, we have two days of awesomeness. But aside from that, we've curated experiences that is focusing on making Nairobi a destination. See, so the same way we fly to Ghana for Afro-Nation, or we go to South Africa for Hey Neighbor, we want Africans to come to Kenya for Raha Festival. Hello guys, <laughs> yesterday that chicken actually turned out so well, Kila looks like it's so moist and flavorful, right? I thought, it, <laughs> I thought it would not be as flavorful as it is because I used very little things. I just used rosemary, thyme, some butter and mayo, but mayo does help a lot with moisture as well. So if you can't try, try that recipe. Um, today is Friday, I have first Hilary. To come with me to go to Tigoni, there is a new restaurant. I think some of you guys have seen it, and I'm so interested to see how it looks like. I know it has like a shop inside and then a place to eat. I'm hoping their food is gonna be good as well, but I will tell you guys so that you know whether you're gonna go all the way or stay at home. That's what we're gonna do, yeah. And today I've worn quite simple, it's a simple day. This is what I'm wearing, it's this dress that I got from, I think, Sasha Collections. Yeah, I like this dress because of the back. As you can see, the back is quite stunning. The back is out, but I can reverse it and wait the other way around. <laughs> anyway, I'm so excited. Trend is like a mini road trip. <laughs> I hope it's gonna be worth it. So of course you can't go wrong with bacon, but 
that of course I'm not trying other things and our taste buds are very different so if you want to go please go and try for yourself um, yeah so now I have managed to convince my mom to take me to a cafe market because I saw these really beautiful glasses and I want to see how they look like in real life and the pricing uh, hopefully they are nice but hopefully they are not so I don't spend <laughs> We are still bopping to Pink Friday in this house. Hmm? Pink Friday too. So I'm just putting on some jewelry. Yesterday, I didn't get the glasses, guys. I did not get the glasses. They were 2,000 a piece. <laughs> they were 2,000 a piece. So I'd need like at least two. I was not ready to, to buy them. But my personal is somewhat buy here. Mm. I understand. He said he'll buy for me. Lies. Ah. Ah. So we call my first nurse, sir. Ah. Eh. Eh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Who's your partner? Uh, who's your partner? <laughs> if it's only. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah. Guys, so uh, we are about to step out. I'm wearing all black today, but this is like a pop of color. So I need to add these earrings as a pop of color as well. I'm about to put my sunscreen, this sunscreen and box with you guys. But for those who haven't seen it, it's the Centella Hilo Sika Water 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 Fit Sun Serum. It's amazing, like it just applies beautifully on the skin. Uh I know I think about ooh, what the hell? <laughs> I think I know about two shops that actually sell authentic uh Korean things i will link it down in the description in case you're interested but it's so light it kind of has the sunscreen smell but not really it's very faint but i love it like it applies so well it doesn't even feel sticky like it's like water actually it doesn't feel sticky you can see guys like didn't take much this is now my currently favorite sunscreen i need to like buy in bulk or something. It's so good. I highly, highly recommend. And then I also got these shoes. I think last year, December from Mr. Price. These are the shoes that I'm gonna wear. It's like a kitten heel. This is when a kitten heel. I feel like this is less than a kitten heel. So they're gonna be so comfortable. I'm even changing bags. I'm just gonna try be black today, like black on black. But I'm going to. A Chinese restaurant to experience hot pot with a friend of mine. I've not seen actually, I can say in years, I've not seen her in years, but she was literally the first person I talked to when I was in MSIU. Like orientation, class, everything. She was the first person I talked to, and that's when we had the Waru name came from. We used to just call each other Warus. My mother used to call her Waru. Yeah, but I'm so excited to see her. It's been so long, and also I need to shoot some content for Coke. I hope they actually sell Coke, but they probably sell Coke, they probably do. So I'm super. So thanks for that. I'll review that to you guys. I also got this ring from, as usual, Kyopta. So that's my partner. Yay! Yay! What will we catch, guys? This is the ring. How stunning is this ring? Like, it's 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 so dramatic. So if I hold a coke, like, I love it. It's so stunning. It's so stunning. Yeah. I'm going to do like another video of me oversharing because what I did last time was me, yes, I showed you guys me practicing makeup, but for Instagram I was actually oversharing a few things that I'd learned. I can link that in the description as well in case you did not see that. So I think I'm going to make it a series actually, at least like twice a month. I'll be posting on Fridays because people seem to really like that. No, I'm going to Oh, yeah. I have a lot to say, I have a lot of things to talk about, you know, and I'm gonna do that, you know. One of the lessons I told in, I said in that video is you can reinvent yourself as many times as you can. And I feel like that's what I'm doing this year mostly. Michelle with me like entering the beauty space. Kierere. But it's confidence. Hmm? Being delusional. But I love it. Anyway, let's go. We're supposed to be there by 12 and it's... 
number 27 but i think we'll make it in time We are back home guys. Um I actually really enjoyed myself. Um excuse me, Mr. Afcon, can you <laughs> let us be watching Afcon. But the highlights are so funny. I don't know what's going on. And the funniest part is that this so these players actually play for big leagues like in Europe. And I'm just like, "Mbaku joko kwaya nini?" But the fans, fans of Afcon, I can't. Some of them are giving muchawi, some of them are giving so much fanfare. Like it it makes you want to even watch it. But anyway, I was reviewing. Yeah, I had a a really good time. Um so you can you have the opportunity to choose between a spicy broth and naan like it goes half so one is not spicy and one is spicy that one that we had was mid spicy but was hey if you can't handle your spice kido go don't I don't recommend for you to actually take the mid spicy but if you have a person close to you who enjoys spicy food definitely and we tried we used the mushroom sauce which was actually really good we also ordered a uh, fried what's called fried rice egg fried rice and it was really really good we also had noodles on the side which is basically like indomie so you can just use it to supplement the meat because it's most hot pot is mostly for meat and like veggies and for meat of course we went to the pork belly and they also have like beef they have like tender beef and i think prime beef as we had the tender beef and we had the tender beef but it's cut so what is it called it's cut so thinly so the soup cooks it really really fast we also tried beef tongue i don't know why we did that that was i didn't really enjoy the beef tongue but i really enjoyed the pork belly and the beef so i recommend getting some pork and some beef that's if you can eat pork and then for the veggies honestly i don't even think you need veggies unless you really want those veggies but as we had some tongo veggies do you what vegetables which i didn't really like and i had lettuce because i was still trying to do like a korean barbecue thing so i'm using the lettuce to eat the meat yeah but it was a good time we ended up spending about 8500 so and we were four so that's like 2000 per person but we were treating our friends so i recommend you guys to go like four of you and mujwe muna split then it will make sense but if you're the one who's footing the whole bill well i don't know i don't know babes but yeah i met with Sheila it's been such a long time um and she brought me a gift she always brings me a gift she went you know when i moved in the first time she brought me this lamp that we still use until this time we actually control the lamp with an app which is so cool but let me vunja yes she like let it broke the lamp that she got me but it's still working amani amani the other one anyway she brought me some at cafe goodies anyway kwa ni kinini at cafe this video can you sponsor me please can you do something <laughs> anyway she brought me some cakes now i'm not a big fan of cake it has to be like really good cake and at cafe at least they do good cake so i'm excited for this so we have a carrot cake we have a strawberry crumble cake Here it is looks so good and then we have a chocolate tea cake we have so much cake i'm actually very excited i think we should have something you know like sai yeah but also <laughs> update guys so i have been reading this book this book is called his only wife and it's by peace odds of it's uh she's a ghanaian writer and let me tell you if you have been trying to get back into reading you want a book this is from textbook center i got it from textbook center and i've read it in a day 
Well, not a surprise. He literally printed for me a bookmark. Let me show you guys. It's so it's such a cute bookmark. This is the the bookmark. If you can see well. Oh. It had anyway, this is the bookmark. So what happens is you just stick it on the book. Yeah, you stick it on the book and then the arrow can show you like which paragraph you've left in and just since it's sticking like that you can put it in any direction yeah although it does need like for you to clip a couple of pages and just stick the visa but i feel like it's perfect because it doesn't take so much space it's so tiny but anyway this book i highly recommend i've not put it down i had to finish it the story is amazing the way she's written it it's very absorbing like i've really <laughs> I have really, really enjoyed this book. Like, wow, I'm even gonna give it to mom to read and then I'll keep it now on, like, in our storage. I don't know if Hillary's gonna read it. Hillary is also trying to read, but him, he's doing audio books, which I think is a lie. Don't it's a lie. Um, the whole point of reading a book is reading a book, learning new words, searching, and stuff like that. Hillary, I'm to ask you a podcast. But anyway, let me not hit on what were audio books. Yeah, but that, that book, run to textbook center. Or if you have a friend who likes to read, gift them this book. Like, I've really, really enjoyed it. I started yesterday in the evening, and I finished today in the evening after we met with my friends. But yeah, that's that's the review, guys. Um, yeah, definitely try it if you have time. It's a good experience. You know, it's good to try different things. I was able to get a bit of the cook content. Uh, hopefully it turns out well and hopefully it's proved but that's about it i think we have just dance we're just gonna do enjoy dance some games and he is so competitive guys i don't get it where does this competitive nature come from like with four boys to not dance to just dance like You'd think he's getting, I don't know what, that he wants to get the best score. Even when you're playing Ludo, he'll literally eat me. Literally. He'll just be like, chu, and I'll put it on board. Eh? Ni vizuri siyezi chesa FIFA, because I don't know how that will love the boy. Oh, why are you exposing me? I'm just here chilling. Anyway, guys, we'll catch up later. <laughs> Okay, saying he leave, but I won. But he's saying you lost more calories than me, so.